Humans are changing the environment. Climate change and intensification of land use are creating new environmental conditions. The species composition of communities and ecosystems is changing. But how does this impact processes and functions in the ecosystems? For example, how can pollination, pest control or nutrient supplies be ensured? These are just some of the topics being researched by scientists at the Helmholtz Center for Environmental Research, UFZ, in Bad Lauchstadt. The effects of climate change on agricultural ecosystems such as fields and grassland are being investigated at the Global Change Experimental Facility, or GCEF for short. The Global, Change the Global Change Experimental Facility is the world's largest experimental platform where we can analyze both the impact of climate change and the impact of human management. We are particularly interested in how ecosystems work under various conditions. In order to research and understand these complex interdependencies in the environment, the Helmholtz Center for Environmental Research is pooling its expertise in the integrated project Emerging Ecosystems. Several times a year, plots of meadows and pastures in the test facility are surveyed. In the agricultural laboratory in Bad Lauchstedt, the plants are meticulously sorted and identified one field at a time. This gives the scientists an overview of how frequently plant species are found over the test sites. We are interested in how we can manage ecosystems affected by climate and land use change so that they continue delivering the functions we need from them in the future. The climate in the test areas can be controlled using various technical devices. Changes in the processes and functions within the ecosystems can then be observed. This shows how ordinary ecosystem services such as pollination, pest control, nutrient supplies and nutrient turnover can change rapidly. And we want to see how the interactions between species work. How do plant species interact with one another? But also how do plant species interact with soil microorganisms, with certain pests, herbivores or phytophagous animals? It is only by understanding the interactions that we can understand how ecosystems work and how we can ensure and maintain the functioning of ecosystems in the future, even when affected by global change, climate change and changes in land use. Different kinds of grazing are also simulated. Alongside processes above the surface of the Global Change Experimental Facility, the below-ground processes are also of particular interest to the researchers. For many years, soil processes and soil analyses have been neglected when analyzing ecosystems. But they are incredibly important because nutrient turnover, decomposition and provision takes place in the soil. In other words, without understanding the processes in the soil, we will not be able to understand how ecosystems work. But research in the integrated project isn't just concerned with the Global Change Experimental Facility. For example, matter flows in the facility are investigated in the laboratory, abstracted to the dimension of microplates. By collecting and identifying plants and insects from various other test areas, such as those of the Helmholtz long-term observation network, Terino, in Saxony-Anhalt, the scientists gain information about the diversity of species and functions, such as pollination services. The experimental approach taken at the GCEF is just one of several approaches we pursue in the IP. This also includes conducting ecological field studies, for example, to find out what pollinator networks look like, and also modeling. The researchers use various models here to obtain information that they wouldn't be able to measure or observe within a reasonable time scale. Woodland or grassland models help them to understand processes in ecosystems and allow them to test various management strategies. In addition to models covering long-term or intermediate periods, 
We also have models which respond to or simulate very rapid changes in the ecosystem. For example, the impact of the spread of pathogens such as African swine fever or other viruses. We use these models to understand how we can combat these problems but also their effects. By simulating the factors affecting the spread of the pathogen virus for African swine fever in a model, the scientists are producing a very important tool for the European Food Safety Authority's panel on animal health and welfare. Around 100 technicians and scientists, including biologists, ecologists, mathematicians and physicists from eight departments are collaborating in the project to undertake the various research tasks in order to understand ecosystems and simulate their future behavior. We not only make an important contribution to maintain our natural livelihoods, but also provide policymakers and society as a whole with recommendations for the future.